Hello everyone. If I say that converting a 2D model into a full-fledged 3D will take just a few minutes, would you believe that? And in this demonstration, we are actually going to do it. Let's look into my new tool in action. So here uh, we are going to specify the member specifications count. We have four members with member specifications here. So I'm going to provide four. Then all we have to do is write the win column spacing. So I have already marked it over here. I'm just copying it, pasting it. And for the win column position, this is my zero grid line, which means the Z coordinate of this grid line is zero. It's zero. Then we can either produce a straight uh, win column or tap at win column. For the first grid line, I'm going with the straight add win column. Yeah, that's it. A win column is added. Win column property will be assigned. And similarly, if you go to specifications, a win column specifications will be added as well. So win column part is over next moving to translational repeat selecting everything excluding the win column and then i'm going to translate it so i have already stored my base spacings here just copying it pasting it over here and do repeat yeah that's all we have a translational repeated model now all we have to do is like add strut tube add roof tracing and wall tracing so in order to add a strut tube just make your model in, model in a front view then select all the nodes where you want to introduce a strut tube yes everything is selected then i'm adding strut tube now you can see now like uh, Strutty members are being generated automatically based on the selected nodes. So the tool is versatile. It does not have to be like uh, in a pattern. You can select any two nodes and then like you can add a strutty in between that. Yeah. For that, like I will give a demonstration with the canopy here. So we are having a canopy here. I'm just selecting some intermediate members here. If I try add strutty. A strategy will be added between those nodes alone. So let me complete it. Once it is finished, and similarly, here we want strategy as well. Yes, the strategy part is over. Next, here on this side, it is fine. So all we have to do now is like uh, add bracings. Let's start with the roof bracing. So let me brace this bay. All, all I have to do is like uh, select the strut tubes and press add roof placings. And that's all. You can see the roof placing added over there. Similarly, I'm going to I'm going to brace this bay as well. Add roof placing. And finally, this one. Similar to strut tubes, adding roof placing is also like a versatile. You can add placing wherever you want. Yes, it is added. So let's try in this portion. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Let's do the same for the other side as well. That's fine. Similarly, we have to add uh, the wall placing as well. So, like instead of adding a wall placing on the first bay, I'm going to add it on the second bay. So, like add wall placing. Yeah, it's done. <coughs> Perfect. Perfect. Now, like uh, say if you want to split the wall placing based on the canopy location, you can select the bottom half. Add wall placing and the top add wall placing. That's all. So like it's so simple. And you can see the versatility now. So like uh, you can achieve anything you want with these uh, functions. So like it might not be a 3D model. Even in a 2D model, if at all like anything you have to add or demo, you can achieve it. And like uh, we forgot one thing. 
we didn't add the when columns on the last bay like on the other end in order to add that all we have to know is like the exit position of this frame that is 86.35 so 86.35 and uh, i'm going to create a tapered section over here so tapered and add and that's it we have created a full-fledged 3d model with number specifications and all the properties applied if you get into the loads like uh, all the frame nodes would be automatically applied over here all we have to do is like uh, we have to add the end wall wind load and generate a seismic load hope this particular tool of mine would be helpful to most of the engineers thank you